Well, it's an early start here for uh, Jasmine Meyer and me. We're having uh, aircon fitted to the roof light, which will go about there. Um, if you see that, they just uh, they just booked her in. It's about quarter past eight in the morning. Um, I've got no transport to go anywhere else. So I'm going to go for a walk. There's a bit of uh, canal just down that way. So uh, I'm going to go and see. I think there's a little marina as well. So uh, might be able to find that, see where we go. Um, it's a cloudy, wet day. It's not raining. I've got a raincoat with me. Um, but uh, there you go. We'll see, see how we go. And um, wish Jasmine luck as she has her aircon heater fitted. You don't see many of these around a uh, VW Beetle with uh, Frankenstein and the Blessed Bed Ride written, <laughs> written on the side. Um, looks really funky, I, like, I quite like it. That's really nice. We were on a trading estate in uh, Northwich and uh, that's really nice that's really 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 well done skinny wheels at the front and fat wheels at the back so when i looked yesterday on the map um sort of planning what i was going to do for five hours um i sort of looked uh around the um industrial estate and it seemed like there was a public footpath straight down and then down to the canal but um, I just walked oh, I just walked down here and um, we're in the uh, sort of Anderton concrete works um, and you know it says uh, pedestrians keep to the walkway uh, here so it, it seems like it's a pedestrian way but um, when you get down to sort of that gate there it just says oh it's you know it's just for the concrete works um, I don't know it might be uh, down this way but I think that that road seems to go around to the right around that way um, so, and that's sort of away from the canals sort of behind me now um, so what I'm going to do is just pop back up to the main entrance here and go up the up the hill up there I think it goes up a hill and then around um, so I can get to the canal that way um, it's so just a short walk up the hill um, and it is quite a steep hill. You'll see, you might be able to see that from there. You come to the canal and the footpath by the canal. There's a little bit, a little bit of grown here, but um, we're on what's called the Weaver Way. You might not be able to see that much from there. The sign's sort of pretty clean on the other side um, now the Anderton boat lift is that away so just under this under this uh, road bridge here so let's go So just a, a little way along um, and past the well past the first boat which is sort of there um, there's some moorings just here uh, I don't know where, what sort of moorings they are probably Canal and River Trust um, 48 hour moorings I would think and then you, you sort of stumble upon the Stanley Arms pub and dining um, which is uh, you know very nice morning 
and then we come across the warbler which looks in a little less um, good state than the others uh, the other boat there needs a bit of TLC I think and looks like it's being uh, sort of done up so I wonder I wonder whether this is a thing that sort of thing that we'll buy and do a bit of work to but then we're onto another little tiny boat um, and I think just around here is the Anderton boat lift yeah sure enough there's a little uh, sort of ramp you walk up and uh, then we come upon the Anderton boat lift that you can see over there um, I think I think the the boat lift ah yeah there's the uh, the boarding point down there and um, I think that that building that building just there is actually the uh, sort of payment point if you like of the booking and getting on um, getting tickets for the for the boat lift so I think it'd be interesting to see if that's I don't know if it's going today or how long I'd have to wait to is it gone right yeah I don't know I don't know how long I'd have to wait to see the boat lift in operation but it'd be interesting to see it, I think um, probably even more interesting to, to actually go on it but I'm going to take a bit of a further walk along the canal and uh, see what else we can find As we come around the corner here, we find uh, Anderton Marina. I knew there was a marina here, um, but I didn't know it'd be so close to the uh, industrial estate where Jasmine Myers having her aircon fitted. Oh, that looks a really nice peaceful marina come to a bit uh, where there's quite a lot of boats moored up just here and actually getting quite busy um, maybe it's about half past nine in the morning but um, there's a very welcome sign <coughs> that says uh, to the pub <laughs> although I'm not I'm not um, going to go to the pub at 9 30 in the morning I don't think they'll be open um, so I'm just going to keep on the walking um, this this pub is uh, the salt barge you'll see that there family's welcome dogs are welcome and there's a big sign there says to the pub um, it's just sort of over there um, you can see that and they do uh, traditional home food real ale local from microbreweries i wonder if there's any from the local one near us um dogs are welcome there's a games room with a jukebox and tvs follow the path walking a bit further on i'm not sure that actually leads to anywhere apart from a pub i could do with a little cafe um, as we go along I'm hoping to find a little cafe off the off the canal or even on the canal 
where I can grab a cup of tea and maybe a, a little bit of breakfast as well. Well, I've had a look on the map uh, and I can see that if I continue on the canal, which is just down there, um, it goes on for miles and miles and miles before any um, sort of <laughs> what I'll call civilization uh, could be found. So I'm going to take uh, the road, uh, sort of come up from the canal, which is uh, just there, and I'm coming up. <clears throat> and um, I'm finding the uh, the salt works so um, and there's that salt barge pub that I'm just going to go by I'm just going to continue down the road until I find a cafe uh, where I can have a drink and um, some breakfast I've, uh, eventually made my way um, having stopped off a little roadside cafe for a bit of breakfast and I've made my way further down along the road into Northwich um, by the little, uh, I think it's called Bombay Quay, not quite sure, but um, it's right in the middle of Northwich, there's a little quay here with uh, the narrowboats, um, we've been here before and I'm just going to make my way back along this bit of the canal or river um, and see if I can find my way back to where I started. Uh, I think it goes back up that way and down around, but uh, the day's not been too bad. I've stopped off in uh, Waitrose, to have a nice cup of tea, and um, I'm gonna make my way now. See how uh, the motorhome Jasmine is getting on. Uh, the uh, As I walk along the riverbank, <laughs> I spot just on the sort of inside of the path, the river's that way, but um, I can spot here, there are like blackberry bushes everywhere. I mean, look at these up here, just, just waiting to be eaten. So the river pathway has turned into a sort of wooden deck. Um, see the rivers here and uh, the pathway is a little less, well, I say it's a little less defined, but apart from the wooden decking, a uh, sort of walkway, which uh, is nice of them to provide. I'm not quite sure how far this pathway will go, but it looks, uh, it looks okay. So after about, um, another 25, 25, 50, well maybe 50 yards, um, <laughs> the wooden pathway ends and it turns back into a sort of sludgy um, pathway down there. But also, now I'm, I'm torn to know what to do, there is a stairway going up and I'm wondering whether I should take that. So given the choice of the stairway up, or the river pathway, I eventually decided to go down the river pathway only to find that it ends here. Basically, uh, there's no further route. I suppose I could sort of hack my way through the trees, but I might end up falling in the river. <laughs> so I'm gonna go back that way and go up the stairs and see, uh, see, what, um, see where that leads me. So that's a pretty, steep stairway and the, stair, the steps are really really tall as well um, that <laughs> just walking up there has put me out of breath which means I need to get a lot fitter well turns out there are even more steps up um, just a few yards down that pathway so here we go again you'll see it's still quite steep but, as they say, I'm getting my second wind, as it were. I don't know what that means, but it means I'm not so out of breath. Maybe my lungs are recovering a bit. So, here we are, top of those steps. They're pretty steep as well. And I'm going to go right, because that's the way that I only leisure. Well, that's the direction they're in. You can see the pathways 
less well defined but there is a fence there so I guess that pathway might follow the fence and the river we'll see um, that fence there ends up being a fence uh, all the way there and down the hill now the question is now do we go back and just keep going back and then up the big hill on the road to find my way to the uh, industrial site, industrial um, place, but, um, or do I try to go down that steep hill and see if there's a path along the river? You can just see the river sort of glistening in the background through the trees there. I think it's probably more sensible to go that way because it's it's now sort of quarter past one. Um, <laughs> Jasmine's going to be ready at two and I think it's an easily an hour now to walk back <laughs> so um, I'm going to head back that way clearly this is um, a nice little area for kids to play there's a there's a swing here um, just over here and there's all, I don't know <laughs> there's some sort of um, pipe coming out of the ground so what's underneath here who knows there is um, a sort of hole in the fence there and there are forensic trap devices in use police and scrap dealers are checking for smart water I don't know what that means but the, the fence is busted open here so people must go in there um, children I guess um, looking for looking for a bit of uh, space to play mm. anyway I'm headed back that way I'll let you know when I get back on the proper path to where I'm going <laughs> well <laughs> after a lovely walk of about um, 40 minutes I've arrived back at the place I started um, and this is <laughs> this is where I've been Fury Wood let me show you a picture of that Fury Wood uh, is effectively a big circle a circular walk um, <laughs> very nice but not what I really wanted to do Ah, well, so we're back home, uh, all parked up with the uh, driveway awning all reattached and nicely done. Um, lots of great advice from the guys at Any Leisure. And let's have a look at what all today has been about. Well, it's been about this little thing here. The Taleco air conditioner, dual climber, 8400H. Um, it's a cooling thing, like air conditioning, and also heating. So you can set the temperature by remote control. Um, they gave me the remote control, and it's got a little sort of wall bracket thing but they didn't fit that they said they they never do fit them into vans because customers um, always change their minds about where to fit them and they usually stick them on with the sticky pads rather than screw them to the wall but let's have a look uh, see where it is and what's going on I've had it running um, for a little while since we had the hookup so it runs off the um, main electric hookup obviously not going to run off the batteries because it's like it just sucks up too much power so here it is and you might be able to hear it running but there it is um, just it replaces one of a roof light like that which I've now got in the awning but there it is 
um, it's the it's set to uh, 15 degrees at the moment there's a little remote controller on 16 I'm not sure what that means up there but the um, the warm and cold air comes out of these fans at the front which you can sort of redirect uh, around to point down or up um, and also the same the same as these fans um, they're at the back as well so you can see the air sort of blows into the bedroom area and into you know if you you can change the focus of that so that it blows all the way to the front right out of these and that is like really blowing hard or all the way to the back if you just change that slider usually I've, I'm having it set sort of halfway um, and that's the there's a remote control it does have uh, a sort of timer function as well so you can have it come on and go off different times pretty simple um, got it on cold at the moment so we can sort of put the air the, the temperature up so if it's you know if it was 30 degrees outside and you set it to 20 it'd be working pretty hard um, it's working pretty hard now because Wendy's at work and I wanted it to be really cold in here to show her how how it works which is why uh, the door shut so um, I'm just gonna now I've shown you that that's what today's been all about I'm just gonna close the bedroom area door um, that shuts all the cold air in there but while I was out having that walk um, and you know looking at various different bits and pieces I um, I spotted these in Waitrose they're quite nice um, they're acrylic but they you know, actually they feel they feel really nice they're a nice sort of blue and green flowery leafy pattern um, I bought four of those they were on offer um, I think they were usually like 150 or something like that but they were 125 so I got four for five quid I also bought the um, value pack Sistema um, clip clip closings there's three sort of storage boxes for the fridge in there um, also um, because of you know sometimes we can feel a bit um, down in the dumps a bit I saw these I spotted these magazines uh, in the moment they're sort of um, uh, mindfulness magazines I bought two of those um, so that we could read those uh, maybe use some techniques to cheer ourselves up um, when we're feeling you know um, we can all feel a bit depressed at times and I was feeling like that yesterday so um, you know anyway I also spotted in B&M some of these uh, glucosamine sulfate um, they are supposedly good for healthy joints I have read uh, something about that that's supposed to be there's no real hard clinical evidence that they work but it was three quid for 150 tablets one a day so I thought that was a bit of a bargain just to try them out I've seen them at so much more money than that um, yeah I think that's I think that's all I bought um, mind you that was enough uh, I think that <laughs> that little lot oh no no I did buy um, we'd lost all our scissors so I bought some scissors as well in um, B&M and I think they're still in my bag here oh it's chilly in here that's good it's really <laughs> it's really warm outside there but nice and chilly in here anyway um, set of three scissors 149 there you go little ones middle ones and bigger ones so um, for some reason we've lost 
We lost the other ones we had, so I thought I'd build, buy some new ones. Anyway, um, that's about it for today's vlog. You've had a pretty, I mean, that's going to be pretty uh, lengthy, and uh, I think you probably would have had enough. But that's, uh, that's it for today's vlog. Um, sorry Wendy's not been in it at all, or Pippin. They've been working, I've been out enjoying myself. Mm. Uh, <laughs> wish they were with me, really, but there you go. I had to work. Um, I, you know, it was one of those things, uh, but I'd already got this booked in, so I couldn't change that. Anyway, we'll see you again tomorrow. Have a great time until then. See ya. Bye.